So nothing alarming happened. I just just came down from the hotel rooms after a nice relaxing sleep. Gonna go out on the town. Normal town thing. There's nobody dead. I saw a naked guy. It was just like I imagined. Woo, lots of fun in the cops casino. Uh oh. The eyes of the mighty Kaisa are upon you. Oh. He admires your accomplishments and bestows upon you the exceptional gift Cause I, of his mark. Because I scored? Any crimes you may have perpetrated against the Legion are hereby forgiven. Oh, great. Kaisa will not extend this mercy a second time. Okay. My lord requires your presence at his camp at Fortification Hill. Okay. His mark will guarantee your safe conduct through our lands. Any chance at an explanation, or is this this because I was screaming? Go to him. And you will understand. Right. See Kaisar by way of Cottonwood Cove, south of Nelson. The Corsor Lucullus will be waiting. Okie doke. Well, lots of incentive there to do whatever this man just told me to do. I'm guessing this guy is some kind of marketer for Little Caesar's Pizza. And he's got like a bit of a social problem, so they just have him go door to door and hand out letters. Here is the mark of Caesar. It grants you 20% off on your next order of breadsticks. Also, free travel to your local Little Caesars! Actually, then again, now that I think, knowing this place, it's probably a trick. It's gotta be like one of those fake taxi scams where they just take me away and I'm never heard from again. I definitely don't want that. Again. Who knows where I'll wind up the next time. You'd think it couldn't be worse than hell on Earth with zombies crawling up out of the grave to claw your eyes out, but hey, I haven't seen the whole wasteland. But okay, time to go see Walt Disney. Um. Victor, the elevator's not working. Where to, partner? Oh. Okay, take me to the... Take me to see Walt Disney. I got his chip made out of platinum, and I don't know why platinum. Maybe platinum rhymes with something, and there's gonna be a song and dance? Because after all, this is Disney. Oh, I bet it's gonna be a really good song. I wonder what it's all about. Platinum. Fratinum. I have no idea. So, Benny has been handled, and you've recovered the platinum chip. Let's have it. Well, okay. Here you go. Such a small thing, isn't it? Yep. And yet so capacious, so very dear. Well, it is platinum. Decades of hiring salvagers out west to search for this little relic in the ruins of a place called Sunnyvale. Back then, anyway. Cool. That's where the chip was printed on October 22nd, 2077. It was to have been hand-delivered to me here at the Lucky 38 the next day. This is a lot of numbers. But the bombs fell first. Suffice it to say, the delivery was never made. No, I just made it. But anyway, can you please tell me what you're gonna rhyme platinum with? Or are you gonna rhyme chip? Some things are more easily shown than told. Oh, cool. Take the elevator all the way down to the bottom level, and you'll see what I mean. Okay. Don't worry, you'll like what you see. Yeah. We have much to accomplish, you and I. Oh my gosh, a am I gonna be in this song? Am I gonna sing? I hope you have an auto-tuner, because I'm really bad, but I'm looking forward to it. I maybe sing just like a ham, but I can perform with talking clams. Oh gosh, what's this? This looks like it's gonna be a villain song. Not really. Are they gonna sing? The titanium alloy housing that protects its electronic core deflects small arms and shrapnel easily enough. Okay, this is not very... X-25 Gatling laser yeah. produced to spec by Glastinghouse Inc. is deadly against soft targets at medium range. That's cool. Yeah, I'm listening. And for close range suppression or crowd control, the Securitron is armed with a 9mm submachine gun. Cool. All of this you probably already knew. Not really. What you did not know is that these are the Securitron's secondary weapons. Okay. Great. All this time, my Securitrons have had to get by running the Mark I operating system, which lacked software drivers for their primary weapons. Okay. Today, with the delivery of the Platinum Chip, all that changes. Great. Behold, for the first time, Securitron's running the Mark II OS. They look the same. Oh, the M35 red. The missile launcher gives the Securitron the ability to engage ground at significantly longer ranges. Looks like dangerous. And a Also looks dangerous. The software upgrade also includes drivers for the Securitron's highly sophisticated onboard auto repair systems. Does that work for other stuff too? Altogether, the Mark II software upgrade confers a 
135% increase in combat effectiveness per unit. How did you come to that figure? The city of New Vegas finally has soldiers worthy of protecting it. Okay. Return to the penthouse now. We have much to discuss. There wasn't a song at all. I get totally ripped off. Trips to the basement are rarely so educational, don't you think? But not very entertaining. I broadcast the upgrade to every Securatron in range of my transmitters, and I must say, it's causing quite a stir down on the strip. Well, that is good for you, but you know what? My life is always so full of disappointment. I cannot even believe that you didn't sing a single song, Walt Disney. Whatever happened to you? What do you even need me for? To secure the future of New Vegas, I must have your assistance. The work ahead is dangerous, but you weather danger well. You know, I really don't. I don't know why people think I do. It's full of crap. I kind of want to go home. Do you have any idea how prodigious is the opportunity you're casting aside here? Let me guess, you don't hear the word no. Okay, tell me you're genius. The next step will require you to infiltrate Caesar's camp at Fortification Hill. I have to go see little Caesar, but they're gonna kidnap me. I want you to open a hatch in the basement of the derelict weather station atop Fortification Hill. I don't know where that you is. recognize it on sight. The hatch bears the logo of the Lucky 38. Same as the platinum chip. Do you think that's not conspicuous? But whatever, fine. I have an invite. How do I get it open? You can't, but the chip can. Okay. The hatch will recognize the platinum chip and open sesame. Okie doke. Well then, what's inside of the thing? Something very important. I wouldn't want to spoil the surprise, so don't bother asking. Oh my gosh, you're gonna kidnap me, aren't you? Is anything good gonna happen? I'm not offering you an incentive as crude as money. <laughs> no, there'll be plenty of that. What I'm offering you is a ground floor opportunity in the most important enterprise on Earth. Stock options? What I'm offering is a future. For you and for what remains of the human race. Oh, well, you could throw in a free unicorn while you're at it. Really, who could imagine that for this past 200 years you've been sitting on this opportunity and I am the key? Okay, fine, I'll do it. Take the platinum chip again. Yeah, me, yeah, me. You need it. Upon arrival at the fort, it's likely that you'll be searched and the chip taken from you. Don't worry, it will come back to you. How exactly do you know it's gonna come back to me if they take it? Is it like the one ring? Is it gonna seek me out? Am I gonna seek it out? Does it have addictive properties? I honestly would just rather kill myself. Take me down. Oh, come on. Victor, take me down. Penthouse floor. Okay, take me down to the wherever casino. Alright, Lily, the looks like we have to floor. go to Little Caesar's Palace or whatever. Alright, Fury. I hope you like affordable pizza. I thought for sure we were gonna go out on the town and... and I almost made it with a guy, but it was Ken. I can't brag about that, I don't feel like I did anything. We were gonna eat like clams, or other fancy foods from a restaurant that would have been raided out of France if France hadn't exploded. I think we've officially eliminated like half of our choices here on this trip. One of them hates us now because we killed their boss. Another one is closed. This one here is like a brothel. Gross. Excuse me, but... Are you the courier who caused all of that trouble in the tops? You startled me! Yes, that's who I am. What? Oh, well, I heard... I mean, we heard. We meaning the followers of the apocalypse. Is that some kind of cult? you had been in there. Where? The Lucky 38, I mean. Oh. And we were wondering if you could help us. Uh. If it's not too much trouble, of course. Um, I don't know. Do you guys have a lot of money? Because you're in here. This is important enough to the followers that we scraped together the caps required for the credit check. Oh. And I'm staying at Vault 21, which is pretty cheap, for the strip anyway. Okay, well, what does it involve? Oh, great. The followers of the apocalypse, well, some of us anyway, have been interested in Mr. House's technology. How he stays alive. I don't know. Of course, no one else is allowed inside the Lucky 38, so no one knows what's going on. Well, except for you. I don't know what's going on. Okay, what do you want? Right. We just want to find out what sort of technology Mr. House has used to stay alive for all these years. Exercise? It could be of great benefit to the people we try to help, many of whom suffer from hard-to-diagnose illnesses. Okay, I'm all over it. Really? Oh, I wasn't expecting you to agree so easily. That's great. Here, take this packet sniffer. It'll allow us to intercept data on Mr. House's network. You might have to manually remove the encryption from his data network, but hopefully you won't have too much trouble. Good luck. 
Okay, thank you. I sure- wow, you were far away. Well, I'm not really gonna do what she asks. I think I'm learning that if I just agree to do stuff, and then sort of forget, then that's better. I think that everyone just assumes that I died, then they go hire someone else, and that's pretty fair, really, because I was never cut out to do the job in the first place. I don't know what it is about me that makes people take a look at me and say, Yo, you're the type who will take directions. Go do this dangerous thing in someplace scary. Speaking of, Mr. House has waited 200 years. He can wait 200 years more. I'm going to the Ultra Lux. I am in a fancy red dress, fancy black dress with red trim, and this looks pretty. I'm pretty, I'm dressed pretty, I am confident, and I'm gonna talk to a boy. He's gonna say my hair is pretty, and I'm gonna laugh, and I'm gonna... I'm gonna tell him that he's nice. Beg your pardon, but can you your weapons? Um, okay. Uh, sure here. My deepest apologies for the slightest inconvenience. No problem. You have my assurance that everything will be returned upon your departure. Okay. But we simply can't have anyone waving their weapons around in the hotel. Oh, no. It's not the atmosphere we wish to cultivate. No. Please, enjoy your stay. You're cultivating just a creepy atmosphere. Adieu. Adieu. Well, now my confidence is waning. I kind of wish I'd been allowed to keep the hand grenades. That's okay. I'll make the best of it. Uh, excuse me. Are you a patron or... Evening. You're a gambler? It's kind of empty in here, huh? Hello, bartender. Welcome to Top Shelf. The drinks cost twice as much during happy hour, but they draw twice the attention, too. Okay, let me see what you got. Well, I was kind of hoping for cocktails, but never mind. Here's some pencils. Thanks. No problem. Uh, I guess I'll see you later. Pleasure speaking to you. Yep. You'd think that cocktails would be really big in the wasteland. So, hey, buddy. They must have spent a fortune renovating this place. <laughs> yeah, it looks pretty nice. Oh. Do you, do you see that? Do you see that? Oh my god! Do, does nobody else see? Does nobody else see that? Evening. I okay. I don't see it either. You watch yourself around, Mr. Gunderson. Okay. Oh, uh, Mr. Gunderson. Beg your pardon, stranger, but I'm looking for someone. You ain't seen a young man with dark brown hair and a white hat on lately, have you? No, I just got in here, so I haven't seen anyone. <sighs> Ain't nobody got one darn piece of news about my boy. No. Not one lousy speck of information. No. Ain't got one Brahmin unaccounted for across a dozen ranches. But I'm here for an hour and my own son just up and disappears on me. Oh, so I guess you're some kind of rancher or something like that? But anyway, can you describe your boy? Is he like four or five? My boy, Ted. He was right here. I didn't leave him but a minute. Oh. I told him to stay put while I talked some things over with the White Glove folks. Uh-oh. He was never one to stay tied down to a spot, though. Poor kid. It's that from his mother. No. Got most of my staff out looking for him now. I'd be out myself, but I keep hoping he'll show up back here. Well, okay. Of course, if he does that, I'll whoop him till his skinny hide turns to leather for putting me through this. Oh, poor kid. But that don't mean I wouldn't be grateful. Well, sure, I, I can help you find him. That poor boy, he's probably so scared. I'd be more than happy to have you. Heck, I'll hire anybody with a pair of legs and at least one good eye at this point. There'd be a lot of money in it for you if you can get him back to me safe. And if he ain't, you can bet I'll pay for the names of the sons of bitches responsible. Oh, you don't have to pay me to help rescue a little kid. I'll go looking for him. Don't you worry. Queen Latifah is on the case. I have seen some stuff. I'll be here. All right, I'll let you know. I think saving a little kid is something we can do, Lily. You and me, that's what we were cut out for. Finally, instead of killing people or being lost in hell, we can do some good in the world. Only question is, if you were a little kid, where would you go in a creepy casino? If it were me, I'd probably go straight to the elevators and ride them up and down all day. Come on, Lily. You used to be a grandma. Where would we find a little kid? In here? It's pretty. I like the plants. Evening. Good evening. Oh, hey there, cat in the hat. How may I be of service, madam? Well, I'm looking for a little kid. Have you seen him anywhere? Why, uh, can I not ask that? Tell me about your organization. My, such a popular question. I suppose it is only natural to see us and wonder what it is that makes us special. What is it? The White Glove Society has only just made itself known to the public, of course. Mm -hmm. But our pedigree was established over generations. Uh-huh. Were we always so refined? Yes. I'd be lying if I said yes. Oh, no. But I've always felt we were destined for a place atop modern society. Me too. And now, here we are. Yay. Not everyone can wear the finest clothes, 
and eat the finest foods, obviously. Aww. That's just the reality we live in. Aww. But surely we can agree that the most tasteful, sophisticated people are the most deserving. Eh. And that's what the White Glove Society is all about. Okay, that didn't tell me anything about what I wanted to know, but thank you very much for the history. Indeed. Well, we'll go look somewhere else, but I think that's a good place to stop for now. Thanks for playing with me, everybody.